Hey everybody, it's Friday Sews. Welcome back to my channel. Friday Sews is a community of sewers sharing what they've been working on this week, hopefully inspiring you. So this week I worked on completing a few of my uh, plans from March. So let me show you those patterns. This week I finished these two tops. Uh, two of my favorite tops. As a matter of fact, this is one of them. I worked on this one with the flounce. I uh, used a really nice drapey fabric. I think this was donated to uh, a group of teenagers that I was working with a couple of years ago. The program has ended and I ended up with a lot of the stuff that people had donated with. So I th I've got that, but um, it turned out pretty cool. And I'll talk about that in my makes video. I also finished up the pants. Uh, this is Cynthia Raleigh's 1371. I finished up these pants. I still have to hem, hem them, but I did fix the rise. There's a great video tutorial on YouTube on how to fix that rise. It fits a lot better, but I'm still not crazy about these pants. And I'll talk more about those in the makes video also. They're really long, so I, I've got to cut off quite a bit to be able to hem them. Also this week, I worked on a UFO, uh, uh, an, an attempt at an Easter dress that I made two years ago. I'll try to pop in a picture. So I said to myself, hey, you know what? It's been two more years. I've had a little bit more experience under my sewing belt. So I tried uh, altering that one. That is Quick Sew 4098. It's uh, this dress here. I put side pockets in it. I had to really alter the top of how it fit. I hemmed it up. It came out pretty good. I am going to submit that in the Joy Viv Sundress Challenge. So I'm pretty happy the way it turned out and the fit. And it's a great pattern now that I've got the fit down. I can't wait to make another one. Also this week I downloaded and was working on the Lago Tank by Itch to Stitch. Hey, this is a really nice pattern. Um, I'll talk more about it in a separate video, but um, I was able to whip off two in an afternoon, no problem. And I'm uh, actually working on a third one. I'm, I'm going to be cutting out a third one today. All three of them I did in different knits and I'll talk a little bit about, more about that in another video. Okay, what else? What's new? Oh, I picked up some fabric. Let me show you that. I picked up these cuts of fabric from Joanne. They were all end of the bolt cuts. So they're about a yard, maybe a yard and, a yard and something. Um, they're all great fabrics, uh, drapey, I'm thinking tops in, um, in most of them. Uh, this one has a little bit of a sparkle. Let me show you this one. It has a little bit of a sheen or sparkle. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, this one feels maybe more like a fancy dress, like maybe the quick sew in a fancier fabric or if there is enough, it's probably maybe more like a, a jacket or a little bolero jacket shrug thing, um, which is another goal that I need for this year. Also met up with our friend Madi from Madi Sews. I'll post her channel right up here, but she, uh, she gifted me a little bit of her Ankara fabric that she had left over. There's quite a bit of it here. And I'm actually thinking this fabric for Butterick 6654. I picked this up just this past week when Butterick was on sale. And I, I don't know, I think it might be a match made in heaven. I don't know, what do you think? I am a small frame, uh, you know, these patterns, these Anchor patterns have big pat, uh, patterns designs on the fabric, but I'm not afraid to give it a try. So tell me what you think. I also downloaded the posy dress pattern from Sew Magazine. I will post that information down in the description box. This was an email that I got. I, I get a periodic emails from this Sew Magazine and they have some free patterns and this one is a, a, a easy sheath dress. Uh, looks like it might have a, a little bit of room, might make a great bathing suit cover up. It might make a great hot summer dress in a nice linen or cotton. So that's uh, coming up too. I picked up the Vogue 
1714 jacket Sharon from Sharon sews will be doing a sew along on this jacket I cannot wait so I've uh, never done anything this complicated I think there's shoulder pads involved in here and um, an asymmetrical zipper closure so this is this is going to be definitely I think a challenge for me uh, Sharon says that I can do it. I have, uh, she has faith in my skill. So I can't wait to, to give this one a try. So what's coming up for next week? I have to organize these patterns. You know, I got that bin of patterns from the garage sale, which oh, I still have to do the video on that. If you are interested in seeing those vintage patterns that I picked up for $5 at a garage sale, I have to organize those. Um, a lot of my patterns are right in here. But I also have a plastic uh, bin of cabinets here that has uh, uh, patterns in that as well. I've been going through my patterns looking for more sundresses uh, I'd like, and summer dresses. Um, so I'm looking at uh, doing one more sundress, hopefully getting it in for that Joy Viv Mom Challenge. Picked up this one, the Butterick uh, 6161, I thought would be a, a, a great one. Uh, New Look 6696 has variations there. This one I think came from Sharon. Uh, 37, Butterick 3727. 37, 3727. I love this one. So I'm really looking for the uh, a really nice drapey uh, fabric for that one. And this one McCall's 5423. I love I love I like this one too. That's kind of like a caftan, but um, I don't know. I like that one too. So I think in the right cotton fabric, maybe even that Ankara fabric might look great with that. Okay, then there's life. Well, um, I'm happy and I'm healthy. Thank you, Lord. Uh, intermittent fasting, I'm going into like two and a half years of living this lifestyle and it's working out really well for me. This past week, I've been really honing in on what I take in, so what I eat that makes me feel good. So much of our health problems is what we eat, and we don't realize the symptoms. We kind of just live with those particular symptoms. So I've been honing in on that. I've really been getting rid of any additional sugars. I uh, recently bought some pasta that is made from chickpeas. I can't wait to try that. I have been working out really hard four to five days a week. The last three weeks I've been using, uh, really focusing on muscle. They've been intense workouts. I only work out for 30 minutes a day. Um, so they've been intense uh, muscle and I'm focusing on strength and flexibility, especially in the hips, man. I don't want to fall and break a hip, you know, I'm 62 years old. so. I don't want that to happen. And a lot of you have been asking me about intermittent fasting, a little bit more about my journey and, and just telling me a little bit about your journey. I hope to get a video out very soon. On hey, if you're looking for more sewing inspiration, check out the video on the screen now. Talk to you soon.